the money team, huh? <laughs> Shit I be talking about. This is the sucker stuff I be talking about. And I just wonder, I was on a live with Mac Mel, and we was just talking, the money team, huh? <laughs> I would never shit on nothing in battle rap or disrespect anything in battle rap pertaining to progressing battle rap. I just speak on the lies and the sucker shit that goes on inside of battle rap that people don't know. I just want to know one thing, because Battle Troop called me a sucker and said I did that because he a clown ass nigga, whatever the case may be. How is this a money team when one of the people that's um, supposed to be involved with the money team never in his life made anything that was successful? So how you gonna be down with something that's successful when all your ventures that you tried never became successful? Let's talk about it. You tried to make the console since 2017. Your game console. What was it called? Um, what was this console called? The Oracle. You ain't get it padding. We don't see no game. And it's 2023, six years later, and no game has been produced. You gonna say, well, because there's so many consoles out there, and there's so many thieves out there, it's hard to get a consoles made, which is true indeed. But I just keep seeing consoles being made and not one of yours been made yet. That's one unsuccessful venture you tried. Your book, your book was supposed to be like the Game of Thrones. I can't really talk because I got a book coming out too and it still ain't come out yet. But that was just me being lazy, it was supposed to been out. So I played myself, and I take pride and joy in me playing myself and being disgusted because I wrote the book and never produced it. So I'm stupid for that. Let's go into really more marketing than that. Um, it was supposed to be eight books, and you wanted to do a web series, so yours should have came out because it seems like Game of Thrones or that whole wave. Hey, all right, how you doing? Oh, what's up, man? Yes, hey. All right. How you feeling, right? God bless you. Um, I just want to know. Oh, the whole Game of Thrones series is gone. So everybody that made their millions off of that came and went. That's another unsuccessful business. Okay, let's talk about this board game that you got, that you finally patented. I'm always happy when black brothers elevate their life. I don't feel nobody that played with Jesus Christ that will talk to a person that's half his age when they already slept with the mother that was half his age should ever get branded by another brand or even welcome because that's disgusting. And there's no hatred in my heart, it's just the truth. Um. The board game, it never got success. It never got successful. Um, you just patent it. He said it's gonna make 30 to 50 million dollars. It would have made that if you put it out six years ago. Cause now you got time. You can't put it out 2023. And you already about to be 50 and expect it to hit by 57. You don't even know if you wanna live or not. You ain't Colonel Sanders. That's the only 65 year old I know that got rich at 65. Everybody ain't that lucky. Let's just keep it more real. You spend a lot of time on YouTube. You got 23,000 subs. You say you got over 10 million views. So that equal a couple thousands in your bank account. You only get 1.4 thousand views or 109 views a blog. And when you talk about coal on battle blog and warring, you get 3.5K. A lot of your subscription, 98% come from battle rap, 2% from the gospel of Jesus Christ, our my Lord and Savior. I just want to know one thing, excuse me. How can you translate that to a gaming uh, um, channel where everybody can come purchase it? When you transition from battle rap, the little two or 4,000 people that watch you, how you going to transition that 
to millions of dollars of people buying a game console or a game board. When people don't even play game boards no more, they really rather do it online. And if it is a game they play, they rather play something they're accustomed to. Monopoly, Uno, I Declare War, Boggle, Dominoes, Spades. So I wanna know how in the world you part of the money team when none of your adventures or ventures that you wanted was about money. It was just ideas, thought process, real great ideas that you could have executed. Being had you really loved Jesus Christ and put your faith in Jesus Christ and never had all these infractions with who you are as a man, as a person, you would have been rich already. You allowed this internet to corrupt you. You did some corrupt stuff and you lied a lot. And God ain't pleased with none of that. So all this, oh, I'm on the money team. I don't know how you gonna produce money for the money team when you couldn't even produce no money for yourself. So you will help make a billion dollar company richer, but you won't sit there and make yourself rich. And I don't want to hear, oh, he a hating ass nigga. All right, baby. Yes, God bless you too. All right, amen. And I, I know you're going to say, oh, you a hating ass nigga. All you do is hate on me. How? How can I hate on you? That still ain't getting you money. Me hating on you ain't getting you money. You still got to go out there and put in the work to become successful. Um, me disrespecting you and you disrespecting me and saying my business, that ain't gonna help you obtain success in your game. Plan. It's not, it never did. It's been six years and you haven't obtained nothing. You have nothing to show for the products you put out. If God really brought you here and you really that sick by Jesus Christ, one of your stuff would have flourished. It hasn't. Because of who you are as a man, because of what you stand for and what you allow, what you allow, let get to you. You've been disgusted since day one. That's why nothing that you have done is successful. So how are you gonna become a part of a successful company and do for them what you couldn't do for yourself? What's that mean? That don't that don't even make no sense. <clears throat> God bless you too. So, you mean to tell me that this 50-year-old bum is still on spaces arguing, on YouTube arguing with people that don't concern or pertain to any of his business ventures instead of trying to pick up his board game off that floor. $10,000 you say you pay, right? And it's going to make 35 to $50 million. So, who has time to argue with J2? Cola. Who has time for that? If you trying to make 50 million, the spaces in Battle Rap can't help you produce that because there's a small clientele of people. You have to have a vast clientele of people. And the reason why you can't obtain that is because your focus is on Battle Rap. I'm part of the biggest Battle Rap media platforms to um, take this thing viral, the money team. That's ironic. If they put you to blog, that's where you're going to be. Um, dumb throwing events and stuff like that, well, you wasn't even successful with that. The kill shot could have been successful, but Yo-Yo took that and went with Angry Fan. Now they took it so far, they took it to Mayweather. Why would they have you in anything when all your ventures as a man failed? You can't say nothing realer than that. All you want to do is get up there and talk about people and talk how disgusted we are and our business, but your business haven't prospered yet. Because you still got to answer that. Why have not one of your business? What about your studio? Nobody even goes to your studio. What about your music? You don't even make music no more. Where your album at? So, y'all money to you want to be with a creep that dealt with a woman that he raised to be his daughter after he had sex with the mother. Y'all go ahead and see how unsuccessful y'all are because how unsuccessful, unsuccessful he is. His whole job is to talk about everybody's business, but his business is not even taking care properly. 
It's your man from a fierce point of view. I ain't got to argue. The facts is in the pudding. Don't comment.